I thought I'd do a quick video just explaining how you recalibrate accelerometers on this little Heligai Viper uh, quadcopter. Um, very similar to the Hubsan X4. You can see uh, one of my other videos to actually see it in flight. Um, but there's been a question asked on my other video about how you recalibrate it. I've tried to answer it in as simple as a way as I can, but I thought it might be easier just to actually show it. So what I'll do is actually recalibrate this thing, and you'd normally recalibrate it if, for example, it's drifting excessively, like recalibrating a gyro on a standard uh, helicopter if the tail's drifting. This thing has uh, accelerometers that uh, measure pitch, yaw, all kinds of different bits and pieces, and it's sometimes worthwhile, if it's drifting around too much, is to reset it all um, on a flat surface, and then you know that any drift that's going on might be uh, you know motor out of um, out of on its way out or something else so what we'll do is I'll just show you how to do it it's very simply what you're going to do is we're going to power up the transmitter and we're going to hold the throttle stick to the lowest possible position and as far right as it'll go and then with the model powered up we're going to flick the right hand stick as many times as it takes until the lights flash on the front of the model so, let's do it. Turn the transmitter on first, then we'll power up the model. I'll turn it round so you can see its blue eyes are lit. Put it in the corner so you can see it. Now, I'll press this stick to put it into expert mode and you'll see the expert uh, symbol come up at the bottom of the display. I can't really see that very well, but expert mode is also denoted by the flashing LED. So with the throttle at its lowest position, I'll push it all the way to the right. And then with the left hand stick, I'm going to woggle it. But keep your eye on the little lights or the eyes at the front of the model. See those flashes? Now, if I let go of the stick, press it again, I'm back in normal mode, the accelerometer is all now reset. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, put them in a post. Thanks for watching.